As one of the world's fastest growing metropolises, Dubai continues to push height limits with its ever larger skyscrapers. The Burj Khalifa has held records as the world's tallest building for over a decade. Now a newcomer, Al Wassel Tower aims even higher for sustainability benchmarks with climate responsive architecture. Beyond height or views, Al Wassel Tower establishes itself as a next generation sustainable mixed use development. The tower promises to elevate the quality quality of life through carefully tailored sun shading facades that passively reduce energy loads. Its integrated public green spaces also reconnect urban populations to nature while dining, working, and living in the sky. The Al Wassel Tower implements a high-performance parametric design that balances form, function, and environmental factors. The tower splits usage between public attraction areas, office space, hospitality, and residential. By mixing usage types, the tower remains lively and activated at all hours. The four public lobbies provide dining, retail, and leisure, drawing in outside visitors. Office spaces sustain daytime activity, while the hotel and apartments populate the tower through the evenings. The programs are strategically stacked to minimize conflicts between private and public zones. This zonal differentiation enables smooth user flow, aided by dedicated elevator banks tailored to each program. The residential units receive the highest levels and most private access. Commercial office spaces sit just above the public spaces to benefit from views and daylight. The hotel rooms center within the midsection to easily access all amenities. The programs thereby complement each other in an urban vertical village. The tower's sustainability relies on smart orientation strategies that maximize the desert environment. The pixelated surroundings skin shades south, west, and east, exposures to intense direct sun. Openings orient north to welcome diffuse light into interior spaces. The textured facade allows light to enter while preventing overheating. The pattern promotes airflow and reduces solar gain. Similar to mash rabia shading, common in Middle Eastern vernacular architectures, translated into a contemporary parametric design. The tower form further reduces the surface area exposed to solar radiation by concentrating the floor plates. The project's distinctive identity arises from the tapered shaft and intricate ceramic facade, which mimic arabesque patterns. Architects chose clay as a regional material to reinterpret traditional mash rabia patterns with a parametric twist. The angled fins reference Middle Eastern motifs, but materialize as an ultra-modern skin realized by advanced computational processes. Designers mapped desired daylight and shading outcomes to inform fin shape, position, and density. Mapping solar radiation on building massing enabled precise placement and ratios of solid to void. The parametric approach allows facade optimization to be balanced with structure, program, and aesthetics in a holistic solution. Claycraft prevails on the future skyline as an ancient regional material reborn to lead the next generation of skyscraper performative envelopes. Beyond sustainability and regional ties, the ceramic facade adds visual expression, distinguishing the tower on Dubai's crowded horizon. As clay rapidly emerges within advanced building skins globally, Al Wassel Tower heralds this reliable material's large-scale application to tall buildings. By leveraging clay at 300 meters altitude, Al Wassel Tower expands possibilities for fired earth construction. Showcasing sustainable strategies extends into the tower's lighting too. Solar panels topping the adjacent parking structure harvest daylight hours to later illuminate the tower from sunset onwards. Powering such immense heights with renewable energy makes a bold statement and reduces grid loads. The strategic placement of illumination behind the angled fins produces a vibrant graphic pattern. The bright accents trace the exterior skin to highlight depth and details, actively cooling the public zones. Harmonizing the lighting sequence to Dubai's urban rhythm and events aligns the tower with surrounding celebrations. Color changing and display capabilities may synchronize light shows with seasonal festivals for a dynamic addition to citywide festivities. Linking the tower identity to Dubai through shared cultural moments increases visitor attraction and recalls regional history embodied in abstract form. Beyond visual delight and marketing, the light integrates functionality too. 
Concentrated glows help identify separate access points and circulation paths for intuitive wayfinding. Brighter public lobbies and dimmer private residential areas visually communicate program delineations. The tower takes on distinct daytime and nighttime personalities in a phase cycle, respecting diurnal environments. In the daytime, it passively shades occupants and blends with the bright sky. By night, it projects vibrant patterns that stand out on the horizon. The angled exterior fins passively shade and ventilate public spaces to reduce mechanical cooling loads. Hot outside air rises up the channel between fins, pulling exterior air across interiors for natural ventilation. The pattern also blocks intense direct sun exposure on vulnerable south, east, and west orientations. Diffuse northern light entering generates less heat gain than harsh direct sunshine. Warm interior air rises and exhausts out the top to drive passive airflow. The convective loops require no fans or chillers for initial tempering in Dubai's extreme climate. Solar chimneys integrated into the vertical interior gardens further ventilate the lobbies naturally. The botanical columns cool and oxygenate the arriving air. On especially hot days, misted water in vertical gardens humidifies, entering the air for evaporative cooling akin to traditional mashrabiyas. The cumulative passive strategies substantially reduce demand on mechanical systems, resulting in substantial energy savings compared to fully air-conditioned towers. Dubai's intense heat, seismic threats, and wind shear forces demand resilient high-rises. Al Wassel Tower implements resilience through three vertical shear walls, bracing the structure against lateral forces. The reinforced concrete cores resist torsion and sway to counter wind and earthquakes. Four horizontal outrigger trusses tie the shear walls back to the foundation using diagonal bracing. This stiff exoskeleton stabilizes the flexible interior frame tube for column-free floor plates desired by modern tenants. Sophisticated computer modeling predicts and simulates environmental forces and structural movements to verify performance. Advanced sensors will monitor the tower's dynamic responses to winds and seismic vibrations in real time. Monitoring confirms the design daily and provides early warning of potential threats. Controllers can enact active countermeasures using dampers and ballast tanks to mitigate motion if thresholds are near allowable levels. The integrated analysis, prediction, monitoring, and active controls create a digital feedback loop confirming resilience. This cyber-physical system adapts the structure in real time to maintain service for occupants. The tower's mixed-use program combines public attractions, commercial offices, hospitality, and residential spaces for diversity. The four public lobbies concentrate dining, retail, and amenities like pools into social focal points. Positioning these gathering nodes throughout the tower gives occupants and visitors frequent opportunities to connect. Office spaces sit just above lobbies to remain visible and easily accessible for client meetings. Commercial offices also benefit from the stunning views and daylight the height provides to stimulate productivity. Wellness ramifications also improve worker satisfaction, retention, and recruitment for companies inhabiting premium spaces. The five-star international hotel by elite operator Mandarin Oriental caters to luxury travelers accustomed to premium accommodations and hospitality. The 257 keys provide exclusive temporary living for visitors expecting high standards of service, amenities, and interior design. Locals can permanently occupy the 144 residential apartments to gain access to hotel-grade facilities normally absent in residential developments. Residents additionally skip lengthy commutes by working remotely or on-site. This diversity of offerings ensures the tower stays active at all hours, instead of the vacancies plaguing single-use developments. While specialized programming serves targeted demographics, shared public areas promote intermingling. Overlapping lobbies encourage encourage unplanned encounters between disparate groups to exchange ideas across cultures and industries. The richness emerges through diversity combined under one roof. Initial planning and design for Al Wassel Tower began in 2014 to reimagine a contextual vertical village in Dubai. Construction mobilized the next year. In 2015, once permitting and procurement were finished. Structural concrete cores rose first to establish the critical vertical stability system. Following the shear walls, floor slabs cantilevered out, configured for each program type. 
curtain wall cladding fastened onto floor slabs, with space left between the facade and interior framing, enabling passive airflow up the cavity. Interior fit-out divided spaces for the mixed-use program spread down from the top residential apartments. Construction sequenced high-performance skin-out board and comfort systems moving inboard are coordinating to meet the completion deadline in 2024. Testing and commissioning are currently verifying the tower's performance for its anticipated opening later next year. The nearly decade-long coordination effort is preparing to welcome patrons, visitors, and inhabitants into Dubai's visionary vertical community fusion soon. With Dubai's Al Wassel Tower nearing completion, the city is gaining more than just height or views. The parametrically designed ceramic skin produces shade, saves energy, and brings a visual vibrancy, unlike any other skyscraper in the world. The tower establishes itself as a model for desert climate high-rise buildings through passive sustainability measures seamlessly built into the facade. Beyond sustainability gains, the mixed-use tower connects visitors and residents to new restaurants, hotels, lobbies, and green spaces in the sky. By 2024, Dubai's growing skyline will reach even greater heights through Al Wassel Tower's global milestones for high-performance tall buildings. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know which projects you want covered next in the comments below.